Yeah, yeah okay. Alright guys, so me and Andy have uh, finally met up with each other again. We're at the second lighthouse now and we've just bumped into another paranormal group who've given us another location um, in the town centre of a pub where somebody hung themselves. So hopefully we're going to have a look, see if we can find that later. Uh, Andy's just setting up the equipment, the EVP recorder. Uh, we've got the EMF meters on already and they've been fl flickering already though, so hopefully we'll get something. Uh, so this is the second lighthouse. So yeah, that was all my fault that we lost each other, but no, we're I reunited went, I, and... I, uh, I just threw it into a portal. A portal, that's where you were. I, I knew it would be something like that. Yeah, I knew it would be something like that. I, I, found, I found a thing and I was... Now you're pinching Jack Osborne's programme. No, I was suddenly <laughs> transported from there. Yeah. To, and I it suddenly appeared here. Alright, I'll believe you. Only paranormalists are going to believe you, Andy. Parapillocks will know I, that it's I, you and I me did, just, I I just lost her, you know, basically. doing what we usually do, and it yeah. being a comedy duo. Okay. Besides, I'm going to record now. All right, I'm going to do my usual. And you knock back. I'm going to knock another three times. I'll have a walk around it, Andy, while you're doing your EVPs. Yeah, there's lots of people. Just on the off chance we might catch an orb or something. There are some lights flashing there in the distance from um, the other lighthouse, the lighthouse, the first lighthouse that we did. But there's nobody else up here now. The paranormalists have moved on. They're going up to the Abbey now. There's three groups out tonight. It's Friday night and um, there's one group on the other pier where we were last night. There's one group just been down here and they're heading off up to the Abbey now, which is just up there. So we've got this lighthouse to ourselves for about 30 minutes. Are you a fisherman? What was that? Mine, I can see people. She, weep, mood. Oh, really? That's quite a lot of messages in two minutes, isn't it? it seems to get on a run, doesn't it? Might be because some people have already been up here asking they out. They might have got it. Yeah, they might be. They might have brought spirit forward already. Brought spirit forward straight away. And that's the good thing about different paranormalists in the same region. You can run, run into people, you can compare notes, and if they've already been up. Can you knock back? I'm going to knock another three times, see if you can knock back. Okay, so who who said that? We can see you. Well, we'd be able to see you if you come forward. Yeah, do the S's if you want. I'll just film around while you're setting up. There is some people, well I think it's the same paranormal group that was here before. It's okay then. So the SS method, just to remind people, is Andy will put on the headphones and plug himself into the radio and cover his eyes. So literally all he can hear is whatever's coming through on the radio. I'll ask out the questions. 
and uh, he'll hear what he picks up on the radio as the response and answer back and if it makes sense then we've got spirit coming through I think the last time we did this we were um, skirred in I think it's an alternative method it's a popular one at the minute with paranormalists So when Andy's got the headphones on and the radio on, he won't be able to hear anything that we're saying. <coughs> uh, no. Yeah, you. No. Some people... Uh, oh, look, the EMF's going off. Oh, it's really like that. Yeah, so we might have something. Now's a good time to ask out. Just the one, by the way, not both of them. So it's something on this side. Just to show you guys that the MF is uh, starting to pick up pace though. I'll put the other one next, next to me. You could put well. it as another uh, thing for either. Put it there if you want and then you can compare, see if... Oh, is that going as well now? Alright, so I think those people have probably already stirred up some activity by asking out. Yeah, that one's going and the other one isn't. So just give me the signal when you're ready. And then we'll see if we've got... Because there's definitely... Uh, Something, somebody. That's the other lighthouse yeah, over there. We can't see it now, actually. All right. What's your name, please? How are you related to this lighthouse? Did you work here and live here? Perhaps you were a fisherman? Did you have a boat? How can you have coffee and I assume it's a person? But there isn't anybody around. That's the weird thing. Oh yeah, there's some people walking down. Okay. Just check the EMF meter, see if anything's flickering or not. Oh yeah, it is. Every now and again, random, it flickers <laughs> out. Okay, so is that you flickering the EMF Spells. meter then? Spells. Are you talking about Andy because he's wearing all his occult clothing at the minute? With specific symbols on? Relating to certain rituals and spells? Are you making mockery of the fact that we are witches, practising pagans? You, is it you that was laughing in the graveyard the other night? If it was, laugh again please, then I know it's you. Yes. So you followed us down from Whitby Abbey? Who are you? Who sent you? Nothing. No, this is relating similar to the other paranormal group. Nothing been. like it. Who sent you down from Whitby Abbey to follow us? Lived and died. So you're in the spirit world already. But what is your name, please? We need to know like your name. People. Who sent you to follow us down? Tina. Tina? That sounds quite a modern name, doesn't it, really, Tina? Unless it's short for Christina. Who's Tina? Leave us. Did you live here, Tina? Did your husband own this lighthouse? Or are you connected to Whitby Abbey? I can hear things. Are you a psychic person? Were you a psychic person in life? G. 
Jesus. So were you a religious person? Are you against what me and Andy are doing? Bodies. You need to make more sense, please. I'm not understanding your messages. In the morning. Can you please Wait. tell me? If you were the person that was in the Abbey Cemetery the other night laughing, please confirm that. Help me. We will help you if you tell us what you need. We can't help you if we don't know your story. What's your name, please? Are you stuck? Dave. Dave. David. David. So your name's David. Were you connected to this lighthouse, David? Gentleman. You're a gentleman? So did you used to walk along this pier with your family? Built. You built the lighthouse? There is some names up there, let's the have a look. Colonel Chelmsley, yeah. Lord of the Money. Manor. So someone called David built the lighthouse. He said. Was there another lighthouse before this one? An older one? Not here. So was it a different location? It's... It's modern. This one, yeah, this is actually quite new. The old one is over there. Perhaps that's the first one that was built and this followed, secondly. Can you tell us a bit... What's up? What's up? Oh, really? Well, you was getting through somebody's or somebody had this lighthouse built. Did you, understand, did you hear what you were saying? Did you know what you were saying? Lighthouse, something, money. Well, it sounded as though um, you were the person who built this, appeared to have this built, but this is the new lighthouse, and I suspect that's the old one over there. But right at the beginning, you laughed, right? And I said, did you follow us down from the abbey? And you said, yes. I said, were you the person that was in the graveyard at the I'm abbey? Not. And you could Somebody went, ha ha. Well, I got a feeling that it was the same person that's fought, and I was trying to find out why they'd fold us down, who it was. Maybe we've had a couple of people come through then. Maybe we've had, like, um, whoever's come down from the Abbey. Yeah. And then somebody connected to building this, besides. So I don't know if you want to run any EVPs or anything. Yeah, I But if you do, Andy, right, ask out if it's anybody who's followed us down from the Abbey from there, because it's, you laughed, right? Yeah. And I said, did you follow us down from the Abbey? And you said, was that, yeah, it's me, it, something oh, like that, yeah, it's me. I, 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 so it's I'm as sure. if whatever was up there laughing has come down here to join us, so that's what I was trying to... So when you're asking out, see if you can find out if that's uh, the same person.
That's some people on the other pier laughing. Watch, watch the road. Oh, EMF. It's flickering then. Flickering again, Andy, look at it. You sat on this piece of wood. Yeah. No, the other one's not gone off, just that one. Are you making them lights flash? Can you do it again? Do you know what else we might pick up? You got Tina right, but there's bunches of flowers strapped on where people have jumped up here, aren't there? You never know, you might get one of them people through. There's somebody who ended their life here. It's flickering like going mad. Can you say your name and stop their life? Say your name, like those lights all the way up to that. Is it Tina? We go through the alphabet, and you like those lights up when we get to the lights over the name. D. C. E. So it flickered at C, didn't it? A, B, C, B. And flicker those lights again. I'll just film around a bit in case we get any orbs coming forward. Are there any spirit people here would like to come forward? Show yourself on the camera. Do you have connections to this lighthouse? That's the lighthouse uh, flickering on the other side, guys. It's got a red light and a green light going off at the same time. Would you like to come forward, please? I'm on my own now. Now's your chance to make yourself known. Now's your chance to come forward. Tell me your name. Tell me who you are, why you're here, do you haunt this lighthouse? And if you haunt this lighthouse, why? Why are you still here? See, I know people use all this equipment and stuff, and it's good for picking things up, it really is. But personally, I prefer to just get off with the camera on my own in the dark, where there's literally no light in at all, and listen, and just gently ask, and listen, and see if, you know, that way sometimes they do come forward. And this is one of my favorite methods. I'll probably lose Andy again, like, but he shouldn't be a pillar can walk off this time, he should stay put. 
Having said that, it was me that walked off and got lost. But you can always blame your husband, it doesn't really matter. And if any ladies find that funny, come forward and share the joke with me. There's paranormalists at the other lighthouse. That's what we're hearing over there. This is Andy coming round again to the front. So up there is uh, where we were before filming the World War One bombed out farmhouse. And there's people coming for a walk and the battery's going to go soon. Yeah. Time. All right, yeah, yeah, one more time then. And there's people coming, you know. Up here. Yeah, just now. All right. I don't got a minute. Yeah. It didn't move at all, that one, just this one. Yeah, it did. Oh. No, it's not. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Just wait a minute. I don't want to freak people out, do I? No. Not everybody's into this, you know, you've got to remember that. Some people's just having a nighttime walk. We've gone up there now anyway. Just do it gentle, don't hammer it. Yeah, maybe. It seems to flatten now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I'm going to walk back down this jetty here, but I'll wait at the end this time. I won't just uh, disappear. <laughs> I, have to, I take full responsibility for going missing, by the way, guys. It was my fault. I went down the uh, wrong path at the seawall and ended up at the theatre. I came out of the theatre and Andy had gone down a different sea path and come out here at the lighthouse, which is where we were supposed to be headed. But anyways, it's pitch dark. And yeah, I can be a bit numb, so... We've reunited and we've done this lighthouse now. But to be honest with you, I think the other lighthouse had a creepy feel. But the other lighthouse is older by about 150 years. This one that we've just done now is kind of like 1850 lighthouse. And the other one that we did the other night is about like 1700s lighthouse. And the other one, when we played the EMF, uh, the EVP recorder back, we've actually got a little thud on the door, thudding back, a little bit like skirred in the graveyard. Uh, you know where the somebody knocked back. It's kind of similar. So that's why now we knock on doors at the old buildings everywhere we go because uh, you know we have got sort of responses recently. And you talk to other paranormalists and get ideas from them and you can try out their methods. And if you have a method that gets results, then try it in different places. Yeah. Yeah. Because one of the things that we have learned, Andy, and I think you'll agree, is paranormal, you can't hear it with your ears, but you can pick it up on your equipment. Yeah. So when you play it back, you're hearing voices, you're hearing laughter, you're hearing knocks, but you don't actually hear it with your ears when you're filming. So obviously the spirit world is on a different level. Yeah. You know, it's there, but it's, you know, like a radio, you've got radio one, radio two, you've got uh, the others, you know, the key one, all three, rock FM, Kerrang, all of them. They're all there, they're all playing music at the same time, but they're all on different levels. You can't listen to them all at once. You can only listen when you yeah. tune in. But you know, when you're between stations sometime and you've got a bit of radio two coming through with like something else, classical yeah. FM or whatever. I think that's like spirit world. I think if we are crossing over with them, that's when they see us and we see them and we can communicate. I'm only talking now like ghosts. Yeah. I'm not talking like uh, demonic possessions and that kind of thing, because that's an entirely different thing. That's an entirely different thing, that. Well, yeah. I'm talking about just regular spirit people that are, you know, probably still going back to the places that they loved. Yeah. Probably just genuinely. A lot, a lot of the time, that is basically what you get in. It's people who just not moved on because for one reason or another that sometimes they don't actually know if it's been a shocking experience and a sudden passing 
they don't know they're dead. No. So they, they're carrying on doing what they, what with the normal lives as they would have done. Yeah. They don't understand. And then when they realise they are, it's a shock. Yeah. And sometimes they don't want to move. You know, you can, yeah, you can move some some on, and you can move them to wherever, whatever place they believe in, whatever place they want to go to. But sometimes they don't always want to go. So you know, don't just go in and say, "Oh, I'm going to take," you know, let you go to wherever you, this, that, and the other. Because sometimes they don't want to go. Sometimes no. they're happy yeah. to be carrying on in this life. And there's no harm in that. No. You know, sometimes you just enjoy. People have houses that I've got in. Yeah. Sometimes you just want to be there. Well, and happy you're there. I've told you about uh, my mum and dad's house, mm -hmm. and um, that was owned by an elderly couple, and I think his sister. Mm -hmm. Three people lived there, and we always had like creaking floorboards, banging on doors, that kind of thing from an early age. So mm -hmm. we were, we kind of grew up with that paranormal experience. But when I looked into it with my spirit guide and uh, you know, various other methods, it turned out that it was just genuinely a man knocking on the door looking to see if his sister, if his sister was okay in the room that I slept in. Yeah. But when you're a kid, when you're a teenager, it's terrifying. You know, you're under the covers, terrified, thinking, please don't come in, please don't turn the doorknob, don't come in, don't... It's terrifying when you're 13. Yeah. And the whole family, you know, we, the four of us had all different experiences at different times. And it was genuinely just because three people probably loved living there and hadn't quite moved on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what it is. That's what exactly. It is. But I think now because there's so many people doing paranormal, yeah, that it's bringing spirit forward even more now, now than ever. Yeah, you know, I like think it, I think it is. And I think everywhere you go now, there's people with cameras just doing their own thing, and all probably a lot of them have got their own YouTubes and stuff. Sometimes. Which is good because we're all doing the same work and you have to respect other people's work, you know, you don't have that battle of the uh, YouTubers, do so you give it... Uh, no, no, no. You kind of like stop, no, compare like, notes. Yeah, you ask them and then you say, well, we'll just let you do what you're doing and yeah. then we'll come back. Because you can't all do it at the same time. No, it just of course not. It, it ruins it for yourself and it ruins it for them. Because at the end of the day, we're always try, all trying to do the same thing. Yeah. And, probably in different ways that we're doing it, but we're all doing it as though we're all trying to look for answers. We're all trying to look for, is there something other than this world that we're in now? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, there is. I mean, I totally believe that, but people are looking for answers. People are looking to talk to people who they knew. Yeah. You know, and it's, yeah, people, people do it for different reasons, and there's all different reasons for people doing it. And there's all different ways of doing it. Just respect other people's views, respect what other people think about it. Yeah, it might not be the same your same your views on it, but listen to them. Yeah. Sometimes you can change your view, your, your thoughts on on it just by listening to other people. And sometimes by people listening to your thoughts on it. We all have our own views on what happens when you leave this leave this life. So there's the Abbey over there again and the steps going up. Now when you had the Estes Method headphones on before, mm. and I said, are you the per you laughed, and I said, are you the person that was up at the Abbey laughing and you said, it's me? And yeah. I said, did you follow us down from the Abbey? And you said, he sent me or she sent me, or somebody sent you. Right. So, and I'm thinking, then people that we were talking to before actually said, they were up at the Abbey and got sent down here. They got a message, you know, they were using a similar thing, the Alice box on their phone, and it came up to come down to this lighthouse. That's interesting. So then maybe there's a connection between that Abbey and See, this... that's what I like with that, is sometimes you're giving out answers. Yeah. You're just, I'm just saying what's coming through. Yeah. I have no idea what you were asking. But I got a feeling that a couple of other people come through then because you had a Tina coming through which right. sounded like a modern name to me. So mm. I was asking out, was you psychic and that? Mm. Uh, when you lived, were you a psychic? And then um, you come out with David after that, and that was all about the lighthouse itself, saying there's a, this is a new one, there's an older yeah, one. I remember saying something about the lighthouse. And which it said, I, think something I guess about is the this, person that's... Uh, this is modern. Yeah, responsible for building these lighthouses. Yeah. I remember building, but... Yeah. yeah. We'll film just here before the battery runs out, because this is nice, this bit here, this... 
Yeah, this is like a bit of a bandstand, band. isn't it? And, uh, and you've got the old harbour, the quay in the background there. There is going to be some statues coming up, guys, so don't freak yeah. out. It's not ghosts or figures or anything like that. They do look like it, but... It isn't, there's a lot, quite a few of them about Yeah, and then the abbey up the at the back there. Days of working. Probably something to do with the... Yeah, they, they've just set them up here and there, aren't they, to show you? Yeah. Well, let's have a look. We'll show them on camera while we've still got some them. Yeah. But if you didn't know that these were here and you came upon them in the dark, they'd freak you out a little bit, wouldn't they? But fortunately, we saw them during the day, so we knew they were already here. Showing how the women prepared the fish. It's just showing how the women works and stuff. Because the men would have done the fishing and then the women would have probably prepared the fish when they brought it back. It's like family business, weren't it? So that's the other key on the other side. Alright. Batch is gone now, I think. Batch is gone. Let's knock it off. Yeah. 